Hey guys, um, this video is really not specifically boxing, but it's sure related to everything, including, it's just related to everything. Um, a lot of people are getting real nervous, they're getting fearful, they're getting scared. Uh, especially older folk, uh, folk my age that have really seen tremendous, tremendous changes in the world uh, are getting nervous, are getting fearful, are getting scared. Uh, and there's a lot to be scared about. Uh, that, 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 and, and, and the nervous wreck about there, there is so much um, today for example we uh, the Pentagon came out and said they're now gonna break a treaty that the US signed on to in 1966 uh, banning nuclear testing and their, their nuclear testing now Turns out they have been for a while. Uh, Russia's nuclear testing as well. Uh, the new bomb that they say they have now is 360 kilotons. To give you an example, the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the, those bombs were 15 kilotons and they destroyed these big massive cities uh, these new bombs uh, one bomb the destruction power everything getting destroyed to my understanding would be a, uh, a, a rough circle 500 mile diameter so 500 miles in any direction standing in the center if you point it outward from that center no matter which way you're facing everything would be destroyed for 500 miles in front of you. That's a lot of area. Um, they were talking about on the news here recently, we've got a huge, huge asteroid that uh, let's hope to goodness they got the math right that is going to come within 17 miles of our atmosphere of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, this is not a big one way down the road. It's supposed to come through on April the 13th of uh, 2029. You're going to blink your eyes and you're going to be a year before that and worried sick. Um, there's a lot of things going on in this world. Uh, the, I'm a Christian. And the Bible tells us that the world will flip and wrong will be right and right will be wrong. And if the people standing up for the real right will be labeled bigots and racist and terrible, despicable human beings. Where that, and it says this, this would happen in the end times. The times approaching the end. And uh, for the first time in history, we are there. Uh, people my age are really freaking out. We've, I've seen a lot of changes in this world. Um, hell of a lot of changes. Um, and the thing is, my dad and my granddad and my great-granddad, uh, my dad seen some changes. Uh, well, my granddaddy would have too. I'm old enough, my grandpa died in 1940, so he died before World War II actually even happened, for the U.S. at any, at any rate, and uh, they, uh, but my great-grandpa and every generation before him, they basically did the same things that they, that, that they, had always done. Um, they 
explored the world, but did the same things. And, uh, of course, when my dad was, my daddy was a young man, they came out with radio and that was a big thing. Uh, when I was a young man, uh, we all converted over to color television. Uh, you know, went from black and white. I, most of my younger, younger years is all black and white TV. Uh, we had one channel and then something tremendous happened. We went to, uh, um, three channels. We could pick up three TV stations and we were one of the first in our neighborhood to have a color television set. And it was a remarkable thing. All, all our neighbors came over. They were like, wow. Uh, and I remember that just as like it was an hour ago. Uh, I can't tell you what I ate for breakfast, but uh, the important, the, the big things I can still remember and, and recall uh in great detail and if you hear any background noise we're in south america and we're in the tropical rainy season right now and it's been raining off and on uh during uh the late afternoon in the evening here so i apologize but if you hear something in the background that's what it be uh I've seen the internet come about, uh, but we're just really, things have really are progressing. The filth in the world, the backwardness of it, the uh, sexual deviancy things that people are saying is normal now, that, that has happened very quickly. Uh, and not in a span of decades, but in a span of a few years. And people are, especially older people, you younger people, you're, you're insulated to this because it's the only world that you know. Uh, and it may be good that you are insulated to it. But one thing I want to tell everybody, and especially you young people, You, you've got to know right from wrong. You've got to have a moral foundation to stand on. Uh, and there, there is hope for you. There's hope for anybody that watches this. And that only hope is through the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know how much peace you'll get while you're living on this earth, uh, but you're guaranteed uh, an eternity of a lot better than what you're going through now. And, uh, you know, our religion doesn't promise us uh, sexual deviancy and things like that, but what it does promise us is uh, goodness, uh, painless, depressless eternity. And I believe that's only exclusive to us. And the reason why that would be is because we're worshiping the one true God. And I just want to let everyone know, you, you may not be perfect. Lord knows I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not perfect at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Joe and I, and the people that I associate with, we seek out, uh, basically around us and our parameter, we seek out evil and try to crush it. It's what we do. We're fighters, you see. Uh, that's our job. That's our job. That's what we do. Uh, we don't we don't just train to beat somebody up in a boxing gym. We train to defeat evil around us and to at least stand up to it. Uh, I am not ashamed of 
my king, and I will stand and shout his name in the middle of the grocery store, in the middle of the football game, anywhere. Uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm so beyond it given a, a darn about what anybody thinks. And I look back on my life, and to you young people, when I was your age, if I had the gumption and the grit that I have today, uh, I'd probably be ruling the world right now, uh, literally. And I want to tell you, young people, you live in a weak world. Uh, the world is for the strong fellas taking today because there are no strong fellas. And those few that stand are going to be the winners no matter what comes upon the earth. Uh, I've put out the last few videos. It's just been anger. It's been frustration, uh, ang anger at the UFC for signing on with a company that uh, that also promotes drag queens at school libraries around small kids. Uh, and God can sort that out and, and forgive it as he sees fit, but that doesn't mean I have to watch it. And I have to publicly come out and say I'm okay with that. So we won't be doing that. We won't be watching that anymore. Uh, if I had Dana White in front of me, I'd be telling him to his face. And I want to encourage you young people. A lot of you folks are watching the Joe Rogan. And uh, it is beyond me what any of you see that's intelligent about this man. Uh He's a stoner, stoned half the time, um, yet you think he's this great committed guy, which he's really not. Uh, you think he's a great fighter, which he's never been and really not. Uh, you think he's uh, this all-knowing guy and guy of reason, reasoning, and he's not. And I would encourage folks to just quit watching him because... Uh, he's nothing but a damn fool that is fooling more foolish people out here. Um, don't mean to be ug ugly about that, but uh, while the great turn is going with the UFC down Left Avenue, uh, he's just totally embedded with Dana White. He can... He can go off to the side as far as we're concerned, and it's as simple as that. Uh, I would gladly tell him and Mr. White to their faces, and wouldn't they, wouldn't much of concern come on myself about that. Now I'm an old man, you guys, uh, but we're in a different business around here, and I want you guys to be in the different business too. I want you to be in the business of standing firm, pushing forward, seizing the moment, being master of what you survey around you, policing your area, and being a man. So although we're all scared, anybody walking through this life on this earth today, this rock that we live on that is nothing more than a huge insane asylum and says they're not scared or not in fear uh, is just lying to you. Uh, men that tell you you can't cry are fools. Um, strong men have been known to cry a time or two. Uh, now I'm not talking about the effeminate mess we're seeing constantly today. Uh, but what scares me for you younger people is that you can't see what's going on. So you really need to get you a 
strong foundation. And I'm telling you, check Jesus Christ out. Uh, if you literally investigate his life and what he went through, uh, and it's real, folks. Historians know it. Uh, these bright minds of yesteryear in history knew it. And if you only knew what he went through for you, it would make you cry. Right? And it just would. And we all need to keep in mind that Jesus wept. Keep that in mind as I'm asking you to be as strong as U.S. steel and as tough as leather. Don't let this world drag you down, beat you down, and you don't have to. If you have the one true God, He, I know you look around you, you see a lot of trouble going on with churches. You see a bunch of effeminate, queer-looking preachers today. No, I ain't talking about following any of that junk. I'm talking about following the real Jesus Christ. Those apostles were strong men. Every single one of them were tortured and murdered. So I'm not talking about the effeminate men that's telling you that Jesus wants you to have a Cadillac or a Lincoln Town car. I'm telling you that at all. But I think most of you would know that I ne'er would even go there with you. Get with the one true God. He'll give you the strength, the courage to win at anything, at anything. I'm infectious. I got a, an infectious disease. And everybody that comes around me in the real world catches it. And as a result, they start winning. I, about 10 years ago, our high school football team uh, wasn't the school I went to. It was another school. It was just losing like crazy, going through coach after coach after coach. I could look and see them practice from, from the yard, the house I lived in. And I went out there and just coached the team to win, winning success. I went out there and commanded it. I said, I told that coach or coaches, including the head coach, enough is enough of this. Uh, I'm going to whip these guys up. You're going to see. And I did. These guys had a lot more of a vast array of knowledge than I had. But see, they couldn't motivate men. And I just hope to goodness that being that this is on video, that it rubs off on some of you people, whether irrespective of your color, irrespective of the religion you're now practicing today, irrespective of whether you have money or you don't, irrespective of whether you got good parents or bad parents, irrespective of anything, I want you to know, be in healthy fear. But you, you don't have to let it control you. Stand up. Be strong. Seize the moment. You have no competition around you. Nothing to fear for you. Nothing. I had a lot to fear. I had a lot going on. I, I, if I, I looked to my left, there were men. I looked, looked to my right, there were men in front of me and in back of me. You're lucky if you look for three weeks, if you go to a shopping mall, if you're going to pass by a real man, a, a, a guy that's going to work as hard as you, a guy that's going to 
have the ability to pray. A guy that's got a moral backbone, physical backbone, grit, and iron determination. So no matter what's going on in this world, don't panic. Don't get yourself down. Be strong. Dig deep. Stand up and stand firm. Fight evil everywhere it's going on around you. If you go to a boxing event, a football game, a basketball game, and you're seeing all this immoral whatever type of mess around you, be the only guy in the crowd or the only gal in the crowd that's standing up and saying, no, this ain't right. Be that person. You may find in the world of weaklings and effeminate fairies that are all around you that every, everybody at the game, everybody at the shopping mall, everybody at the grocery store may change because of you. We've seen this recently in our politics. One guy standing up in the whole body of Congress and changing the leadership. All the news saying, this guy's starting trouble. This is no good piece of trash. This blah, blah, this blah, blah. And that man stood there and didn't let none of it affect him. And he won. Got every, everything he wanted for you and me, if you live in the U.S., that he could possibly get for us. That would have never happened in my day. Someone would have crushed his ass. So stand up. Stand firm. You can do anything. There is hope. There is protection. And there is peace. You just got to grab it. You got to open the door to your heart. It's right there in front of you. Seize it. Take it. You don't have to live a world of drugs. You don't have to live a world of alcohol. You don't have to live a world of depression. You don't have to live a world of sorrow. Open that heart and reach out and grab the love that God wants to give you. Let him give you the determination and the strength that you need. Ask him for it. Beg him for it. He'll give it to you. I'm sure of it. So, all you young people, be aware that you're growing up in a wicked generation and try to steer clear of it as best you can. I want all you, especially you young people to know, this old man loves you all very, very much. And this old man wants to see you succeed and push forward and be a winner if you're in sports be a uh, valedictorian if you're in academics. Win, win, win. I want to hear your name called winning at and then your last name. That's what I want to hear. Blessings to all you people and Really start investigating. Get you a Bible. Get into a Bible. They're online. If you can watch this video, then you do have access to a Bible. And just look and read and read. And investigate. Etern your eternity is worth your a little bit of time. Think about that.